Hi team and welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, my name is Lara and this channel is all about productive and purposeful living. I have often found myself looking back over bad decisions with a lot of regret because I have made a bunch of them. But I have since found a quick trick that helps me to sort out which is the best decision. So if you feel like you have made some bad decisions and you wish you could make some better ones, then just keep on watching. Through a series of mistakes, I have, and trust me, there's actually been a lot of them, I have learned that there are only really three considerations that you need to think about when you're making decisions. In all of life, we pay something to gain something. Everything is a transaction of something. So really what we need to figure out is whether what we are spending is worth what we are gaining. Like I said, there's only three things that you need to consider and those three things are time, money, and effort. When I talk about effort, what I actually mean is energy. So is it worth your energy? And energy can take a bunch of different forms. So not only physical energy and mental energy, but also emotional energy, social energy, creative energy. Everything comes down to those three things. And decisions are just choosing to trade the abundance of one for a deficit of the other. And when I say everything in life comes down to these three things, I do actually mean everything in your life. If you're buying a video game, you are trading money for emotional energy, joy. If you are playing the video game, you are trading time for emotional energy in the form of fun. If you're working, you're trading time for money. If you're seeing friends, you're trading time for social energy. So how does this help us make good decisions? Really what you need to think about is these three considerations, time, money, energy, in terms of cups. So when you're going to make a decision, think about which one is the most full, which one is the most empty, and then find a way to trade the one that is full for the one that is empty. So for me, I work three jobs, which weirdly is not strange to me at all. Um, so I recently have found myself in quite a time deficit. So my time cup is low. But because I'm working these three jobs, because I have exchanged time for money, my money cup is doing all right. So I decided to invest in like a meal delivery service because that saves me about two hours a week. Not only the grocery shop, but the planning and the thinking about and the recipe searching. So I don't have to do that anymore. And that was so valuable to gain those two hours back because time was the thing that I needed more than I needed the money. You can literally apply this to everything. I don't know whether to pack lunch or buy lunch today. Do you need more time or do you need more money? Which one is most important to you? Which one is at a deficit? I'm not sure what I should wear to work today. Are you running late? Is time actually the thing that you need to value right now? Then pick something super easy. You don't need to accessorize. You know it looks good. Get out the door. But if your emotional energy is feeling low, then wear something that perks you up. You can make all of these decisions based on which cup you need to fill. And of course, my favorite ever exchange, which is energy now for time later. And what I mean by that is planning. Planning now and using a little bit of mental energy right this very second in order to gain time back in my week later on is the best exchange. I love it so much. Again, because time is the thing that I am mostly in a deficit for. I tend to block in my time because I'm also, not only do I not have a lot of time, but I also am chronic for kind of thinking that there are more hours in the day than there actually are. And then I end up overfilling my schedule with stuff that I think I can get done, but I can't. So at the start of each week, I will take my to-do list and I will block out my planner. And so that way, I know that later, I am not wasting all of my mental energy and my physical energy by being stressed and not being able to get things done. And I cannot emphasize how much that has helped me. Um, I'll do a video soon about calendar blocking and about planner blocking. So if you've ever come across not being able to fit stuff in your day, getting at the end of the day and kind of being like, oh, I have no more time to do blah, blah, blah. 
no stress, there's going to be a video coming up about that one. So if you want to keep in touch with that, just subscribe and hit that bell uh, and you'll be notified when that one pops up. So get out there, get cracking, go make better decisions. Now that you understand that it's really just a trade-off of one thing for the other, figure out the thing that you need most and go and get it. Before you leave, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me and as always, before you go, don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment, paint a mural of my face and as always, thank you so much for hanging out. Peace.